Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing today. I am cranking out two videos back to back and it has a lot to do with all of these packages that you can see. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing both of my BoxyCharms and two of my Ipsys. The other one, I think it's just lost to the moving process and that is okay. I am just thrilled that I have most of my packages. So I'm gonna be filming this with my boxy charms and my ipsies but i do have several pr packages and a few purchases that i'm going to do in a separate video so be sure to stay tuned and check that out as well because that should be one of my next few videos that come up also thank you guys so so much for bearing with me through all of the moving craziness and the up and down like missing videos weird schedule all of that so thank you guys for being patient if you are new here please be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up okay so let's get into it let's start with ipsy so i have the original bag this is the 12 dollar glam bag and then i have the big boy the ultimate which is their 50 dollar box so i do have a few add-ons with the ultimate so i'm going to start with those and then we'll get into the boxes all right so i did three add-ons now i could have added these on to really any of my ipsies but i'm glad that it happens to be one that i actually got in the mail so i got three things and i feel like they were really really good deals i could not pass up on so first up i got a big whoop, luna from sunday riley now this if you guys don't know is the 105 dollars bottle i'm pretty sure and it's 1.18 ounces it is the big guy so i'm really really excited to have this and i can't remember exactly what the price was but i'm thinking like around the 20 dollars range it definitely wasn't expensive so i was just thrilled to get a backup of this I already love it i also got this micro needle face roller system this is from oh beauty aura I don't know this is not a brand i've heard of but i've always wanted to pick up a face roller so i just went ahead and took the leap so that's what the little case looks like it's pretty cute it's sleek and then the roller itself of course has your tiny little needles in it which are so so small and if you're like frightened of this like i can't feel this on the palm of my hand it is hardly anything happening but uh, micro needling will just cause little tiny tiny punctures in the skin to basically tell your skin to repair itself so I'm really excited for that one also I kind of ignore my eye look because I did my makeup in the bathroom and it just got out of hand like my beauty room is such a mess and I've already moved my vanity mirror so everything is just crazy I'm also doing natural lighting what do you guys think about it this video and the last one was natural lighting which I don't normally do so let me know what you think all right one last add-on is the Dominique Cosmetics rustic glam palette now I have always had my eye on this so here is the palette itself it has beautiful colors I love that it has a mixture of neutrals blues and then a couple other pops of color as well and everything just looks so pretty I really like the shade cactus too which is like a cooler green it looks so pretty I think all three of these add-ons may have cost me like 50 bucks it wasn't much at all though i think it was around 50 dollars, so i just couldn't pass it up all right so we don't spend too much time let's go ahead and open the ipsy glam bag obviously with all of these products i'm not going to spend a lot of time first up we got a brush i think this is from sl miss glam i think is what the brand is so this is another brush that's got like little glitter in the handle um, it's got little rhinestones there on the ferrule and then a pink bristles. I, know, I just looks like there's a little bit too much going on, but they are cute. I think the last one I just gave away because I have so many brushes and I doubt I will keep this one either because um, I have a tendency to like put my brushes in sets and keep the sets together. I don't really need another eye brush even though this one does seem pretty nice. Let's get into the bag itself. So it says escape and these are like these um, like jelly-ish kind of bags. It's a plastic. I do think the little zip is super cute it's a little plain this style of bag is really not my favorite but they are really cute and it would be nice to use at the beach because sand is just gonna fall right off of it and if it gets wet it's no big deal so I can definitely see why they chose something like this for summer we got some Sakura peeling radiance pads and I think this is okay 10 pieces which is decent for you know to get in your small bag it's pretty good size and you can use these obviously for at least 10 days and it says it's for all skin types. They're brightening and smoothing. So these are made in Korea, but they're vegan and cruelty free, which is cool. And it says wipe across face, neck, and decollete after cleansing once or twice daily. So you could either use it for five or 10 days. With something like this, I usually only use it once a day, but I will definitely have to give these a try. They sound really interesting. And you guys know I love my K-Beauty products. And then we got the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. This is really cute. And that's a decent size for a lip product too. That's one thing, like getting lip products in like deluxe sizes are typically always a good deal because you're going to use them for a while. I'm just putting it on the back of my hand. So 
it just gives you that like juicy shine definitely very watermelony and a little bit goes a very long way so i think this is a really good thing to get in the bag we also got from beauty for real this is really red lip cream i'm not gonna open this i'll just peel off the things so you can see this has been a brand that like it's intriguing but i haven't really tried anything that made me fall in love yet who knows this could be it but i don't think i'm gonna keep this because i, don't know, I just have so many lip products and i don't want it to go to waste so because it's a brand new red lip i think i would just put it to the side and give it to someone now this i'm really excited about this is the koki crystal fusion liquid eyeshadow and i definitely want to try this so i will swatch it as well this is the shade polaris i think is how you pronounce that Ooh. so here is the shade and that's the packaging look how pretty that is it shows up a little bit more like pinkish in the light but it looks more like champagne golden in the actual component so look how pretty that is oh this might be a good dupe for Stila so maybe I'll like try Stila on one eye and this on the other because I think I have a color that will look similar to this but look at the like flashiness of it so pretty really excited to try this and definitely my favorite item in my small bag now let's get into the ultimate box and again I've already done the add-on so this is strictly everything that came in the box itself so this little bag is cute I like the colors but it looks like it's got stains on it so it's a cute size I'll try to show you like the width it was just kind of smushed but it's got like stains on it I don't know how well you can see it but it's got like little black marks here and there and it's just something about this material so I don't know I'm not really crazy about this bag however the cute little airplane is still getting me all right we got something from Nanette Lepore beautiful times eau de parfum oh I just hate this packaging usually like roller balls that are glass but you know they still feel like they're a little bit elevated still a little fancy this just looks oh I don't know this smells nice it just smells like a body spray that you get at Victoria's Secret and that like that's not a bad thing necessarily but it doesn't feel I don't know it doesn't feel sophisticated however I can definitely see myself wearing this this is definitely like a young fruity fresh type of scent it's cute I just I don't know I'm not a fan of the packaging at all not that that is the most important thing it's probably the least important thing it smells good but it definitely smells like something I bought when I was a teenager from Victoria's Secret you want to say hi you want to say hi say hi buddy oh don't be rude you're on camera you're on camera next up we got something from Foxy Bay. This is the Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask. This is a cool packaging. Let's see. Oh, I really like the idea of this. So they are individual little hair masks. So not only are they like cool because you can just grab one and go in the shower, but you can actually travel with your hair mask now versus a lot of them come in rather big containers. So I feel like this is really nice. It's a good way to store it. And this has biotin in it as well, sulfate free and paraben free. Next up, something from Ofra. Oh no! It's broken. Okay, this isn't too bad. Like this is salvageable. Um, you'll be able to see like there's a little bit in there but there's just like a broken spot up top it could be a lot lot worse so I'm not complaining so this is the Ofra and Nikki tutorials highlighter and glazed donut I think I actually have an old one of these in the black packaging and honestly I think what I'm gonna do is just swap it out but I wish this hadn't come broken but it's not bad I think honestly I can just like smooth it out a bit and it'll be just fine but these highlighters are really really pretty I find that for me I have to go a little soft with the Ofra ones because they can easily become really like over the top highlight and begin to like show texture if you know you go a little ham which I have a tendency to do so I try to like dial it back with the Ofra ones because they're already so blinding all on their own. We got something else from Beauty For Real. These look like some eyeshadow sticks. Comes in a little packaging like this. I am kind of interested to give these a try and like I said nothing that I've tried from Beauty For Real has been like bad. I just haven't like found the one thing that makes me like oh my god I have to use this every day or anything like that. So there are two colors. Um, there's Midnight Marathon and Ever Starstruck. It kind of would have been fun if they had included a color and then a neutral because these look really really basic. So here are the two colors. So you get like a little brown and a champagne. So obviously a very easy neutral look and I'm sure that most people will find this like really intriguing because 
most people wear neutral looks all the time you know i think it's okay i do wear neutrals i mean i have on mostly neutral today with a little bit of like a, a blue green on here mixed in but i don't know this isn't i'm not the type of person to wear neutrals every single day so this is not something that's going to like really intrigue me i feel like most people would get a lot of use out of this so i'd love to try them and tell you guys my thoughts next up something from pure lease blue lotus four-in-one cleansing milk cleanses skin removes makeup tones and soothes soap and sulfate free so this looks really interesting i have tried a few things from pure lease and have really enjoyed them this sounds good cleansing milk always sounds really good sometimes they turn out great and then other times i'm like what like a soap and glory one awful there are some definitely good cleansing milks out there so i'm going to give this one a shot all right something looks like a K beauty product green tea eye gel patches from jayjun jayjun or jayjun it looks like this and there seems to be three in here so three patches with little green tea leaves in there i'll give these a go for sure like i said i love K beauty so i'll definitely try those out we got something from awake the glow peel super serum i believe awake is the tart like sister brand of skincare correct me if i am wrong oh this is cute glow peel super serum so that's what that looks like skin appears more balanced hydrated and smooth ph 5.3 so it's ph balance uh got vitamin b3 and b5 with antioxidants it's got niacinamide glycerin hyaluronic acid but it's a little ways down on the list so this feels like it would be fine i don't know that this is going to be anything like extremely stellar but i will definitely give it a go because i've never tried this brand next up we got something from seraphin botanicals this is the sakura and sage vegan eyeshadow and blush palette this looks really pretty and something about the fact that it's called sakura and sage makes me want to try it more i hope the inside packaging is as pretty as the outer carton yeah okay so really pretty again let me show you the flowers up close it looks really pretty i wanted the inside to speak to me because i think the outside's so pretty once again this just looks very neutral very wearable but nothing that really excites me you know um but this one is vegan no talc mineral oil paraben salates gluten it's got evening primrose and sage oils oregano lavender cherry blossom and rosemary with vitamin e and it's hypoallergenic cruelty free and vegan PETA certified it is a lot of things so i don't know would you guys like to know how this performs let me know if you're interested in seeing this being used in a video i'm kind of still curious but i also know that i don't need another neutral eyeshadow palette we'll see we got from the coffee scrub french vanilla and this is just a body scrub these are nice we actually use a coffee scrub from tj maxx in our shower and it's just one that we found i always love so i've picked it up several times and this is like way way more expensive for such a small amount but this is good don't get me wrong and this is the french vanilla scent so i'll definitely use this the coffee scrub is cute. All right, we got three more things left in the ultimate. We got the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Now, if I have gotten this bitch one time, I've gotten it like four. And I think I've gotten it from multiple places. Like, I don't think it's Ipsy. I think I've gotten it now from Ipsy, from BoxyCharm, and also in FabFitFun, if that makes any sense i got it everywhere so that's the powder it is a decent powder it's not my favorite it's not something that i hate either it's just like a, a good basic powder but i will definitely pass this one along because i do not need another powder and i don't need another one of this because i think i already have one and it's barely used so there you go we also got a little belief moisturizing balm now this is the one that is more appropriate for my skin it's a little bit better for dry and combo skin and let me tell you too they really try to make it look like there's a lot more in here than it is it is just like a tiny little amount and you know it's great for travel like if you know you like it but it's not enough to really see what it's going to do for your skin you know any long term so it's really just like enough to test you know sensitivity do you like the texture smell yada yada now this i don't know what this is I, maybe a brush set this is from la russe i think the packaging is really intriguing it looks beautiful and i think you have to like like tear it open like a package Yep. So let's open it up. Oh God. The packaging reminds me of complex culture brushes. Like I feel like getting them in this package would make sense. These brushes. Okay. Let me just show you one. 
because I'm definitely not keeping these. I hate handles like this. I hate the textured handle. The handle's really chunky already without having like an extra texture on it too. So to me, these are just weird. I don't, I don't like this. There are five brushes in the set and I'm just gonna pass this along to someone who will actually enjoy. I'm picky about brushes, but most people probably will not be that picky. They remind me of some other brushes that I had that had the textured handles and I wound up decluttering them. So no point in wasting them on me. All right, so that was it for Ipsy and Ipsy Ultimate. I feel like honestly, unfortunately, the best thing that I got were my add-ons. You know, you do get to choose those and they are a really good deal, but at the same time, I wasn't like thrilled with either of my Ipsy's this month. They weren't bad and I'm not like, you know, I'm not majorly complaining. There's definitely items in each one that I'm going to use and enjoy, but for the most part, it's just Let's get into BoxyCharm and I've been talking so so long. I'm so sorry that this is a longer video than I expected. So my regular BoxyCharm base box is right here and this says sunshine. Looks, looks nice. Looks like some summer, maybe a melted popsicle. I don't know. Okay. We got from Grace and Stella. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. These are anti-wrinkle and energizing eye masks. Oh, lots of them in here. So several. This is a pack of 12 pairs of eye masks. And these are just like the basic gold looking ones. I feel like you see these everywhere and it's hard to know like what brands are actually good because there's a lot of dupes out there of these gold under eye masks. That being said, if you want to just maybe for a special occasion look your best, pop these on, maybe do your eye makeup, or just put them on while you're doing anything to hydrate and refresh the under eyes. It'll help with depuffing and they're usually very cooling. So not a bad thing to get. I'll probably share some of these and keep some. I, I have a lot of face and eye masks, but at the same time, I am kind of curious and we'll see. We got from Lavish, the Quick Color Switch dry makeup brush cleaner. Now, this is one of those things that like, I'm glad to have this because I already have one and I use it, but I've had mine for years and it's from, I think it was Sephora Collection and Vera Mona. I think Vera Mona was like, maybe the person who created it. And now everybody has copied this, like everyone and their mother. It's just like this little um, foamy texture in here, but it's a little bit more coarse. So when you take a brush that you're using eyeshadow, you can swirl it around in here onto the surface and it will remove the shadow. I love this, especially if you have very few brushes, but you know, it's also kind of like a rip off at the same time. I don't know if anybody did it before Miramona, but that's the first one I saw. And then now you can get them literally anywhere. You pick them up at TJ Maxx for super, super cheap. I'm just starting to pay attention to more brands that are duping things. And at a certain point, it's like, stop, you know, like, we're basically taking people's ideas. So I don't know, it's good to have, but it is exactly the same thing as the Vera Mona, like packaging and everything. This is literally like straight up the same thing. So yeah, it's a good product though. Like I do like these a lot. I got from 111 Skin, the NACY2 Pollution Defense Booster. I don't know if that's supposed to be said in a different way, but there you go. This is the Pollution Defense Booster. So this will be a good daytime when you're out and about. It probably has antioxidants in it as well. Let me check the price of this because these products are always really expensive. For retail, $135. It can be exciting to get something that expensive, but I also do think realistically it's really inflated and with almost anything that is that expensive there's probably something else out there that can do the trick but you know if you find it and you love it and other things don't work the same and it's just right for your skin then maybe it's worth paying that much but it's not 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 one that i would go out and purchase but i will definitely try it and see if it is worth the hype we got from hourglass the brow micro sculpting pencil what shade we got soft brunette okay hello Maybe this will be good and not too warm. Somebody gave me such shit on one of my videos because the brow product I was testing was a little too warm for my hair, which hey, my hair is not like um, cool toned. It's more like neutral and looks really, really warm in the sun. But somebody just had such a problem with it. Here's this color. I think this will be a good color for me. And like went on and on. I'm like, dude, I said in the video that like the color I wanted was sold out, but People can be so extra about some things, but I love Hourglass. I'm really excited to try this new pencil. I've actually eyed this before and I was like, no, I don't need to get it. It's a little bit too expensive, but Hourglass makes really, really good products and they are cruelty free as well. All right, Pure Festival 12 piece pressed pigment palette. Oh, this is the Festival 2.0. Look at Ant. Meow. I don't know what that sound was. I did have the other, um, the original Festival from Pure I had and I did like, I feel like, 
I'm gonna be honest though, like pure shadows can be good and can be bad. And I actually just got the Raw Beauty Christie one. But here is the Festival 2.0. Uh, this is not exactly what I expected in a Festival palette, but it does look pretty. So it's half and half. You've got some metallics, it looks like, some shimmer, and then six mattes as well. I'm surprised that there's so many neutrals in here. Like it definitely has a mixture. And I'm gonna swatch the shade. Oh, of course it had. It had like a weird shimmer in it. Sorry, so I swatched it on two fingers. So let's see, I swatched it on my hand, but it had lip oil on it. So there's the swatch of one. It looks like it could be good. We will give it a try because again, Pure, I've loved some of their stuff and some stuff is just eh, but I want to give this a try and we will see. Man, I've got way too many eyeshadow palettes, like three in one video girl needs to calm down. Okay, so for my regular BoxyCharm, I'm probably most excited for the brow pencil, and then second would be the palette, third would be the 111 skin. The other two things, I mean, I could take it or leave it. Premium is the extra subscription. Yes, I get confused between premium and luxe sometimes, but premium is the other box, it's the separate subscription. Excuse me, excuse me. Minners, no, no. I wish I had my phone with me. Minners is trying to get into the small BoxyCharm box, which is like this bigger box is probably too small for him. Okay, anyway, premium box. Is this the one that's 35? I think it's 35. I'll put it on the screen. I'm so sorry. So we got, oh, all right. So on top, we got a bag. I know they do these like occasionally. Interesting. Oh, this is like another like very summery bag. This one's cute though with the little pom-poms. She's cute. This is super, super bright. I know this is throwing off every bit of color on the screen is being thrown off right now, but this is really cute in summary. I do like this a little bit better than the others and there's no stains on this one, so I will take that. All right, we got something from Byro New York Bitter Green Essence Toner. Oh, this is pretty. This just looks a little fancy, doesn't it? This goes for $95. I'm not familiar with Byro, but I think I've heard the name before, so maybe I should be more familiar. It says it's packed with 33 different green vegetable extracts including artichoke, broccoli, and basil. Oh wow, I just wanna smell it. It feels pretty much watery on the skin, just a little bit more dense than water. It's definitely a little planty. So that's interesting. I'm definitely excited to give this a try because I mean, A, it's pricey, so I'm just curious, but it looks so gorgeous. We got from Paracone the No Makeup Lipstick, and this is Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I've always kind of been curious about this, like the Paracone No Makeup stuff in general. My lipstick's kind of gone, so let's put this on. like this because of the SPF in it like to protect your lips from the sun so I feel like this would be my like no makeup look type of you know lip but I'm excited to wear this some more it's a pretty color just kind of made my lips a little bit better we got something from Ciate the everyday vacay dewy coconut setting mist something else from Ciate but this one I haven't gotten before so funny that it's Ciate's in both boxes oh that smells so good I had a hankering to buy the new Huda Beauty one, but maybe I can just not since I have this one now. It smells good. It smells like coconut, but not overly strong. Like I can already barely smell it now and it's drying down. So I'm excited to try that one too. We got something from Kenia Ontiveros. I don't know who that is, but like a white sleek packaging. All right, so here is the palette. Is it me or does this look exactly like a palette I've already seen? Does it look like the Jouer face palette maybe? This reminds me of something for sure. I don't know if I'm gonna use this so I'm not gonna swatch it. I think I'm gonna compare to some of my other face palettes and see if I have, you know, several things already like this. I may give it a go, but I'm not familiar with this brand and I do have a lot of face palettes so I don't necessarily wanna use it just yet. We'll see if I'm gonna keep it or not. Oh, we only have one more thing and this is the Morphe and Manny MUA Glam Palette. Um, I'll take a look. How do you guys feel about Morphe now? I don't know. Their stuff is like okay, but I'm never like that impressed. So here is the palette. I doubt I'm going to use this. I just feel like somebody else can get a lot more use out of it than I can. And you know, it's okay, but it's nothing that that makes me want to like dive into it. It's just neutrals with a little pop of berry and a little duochrome, but like that duochrome is in a lot of palettes. So it's okay, I'm just not that impressed. That being said, for most people and especially some of my friends that I know, they will use this palette all the time and I just won't. 
so I would rather save it for one of them. I'm definitely most excited for this toner and the Ciate setting mist for sure. I feel like these are both really exciting items to get. So that is everything that was in my BoxyCharm Premium. This month wasn't really that exciting for me in either way, but I do feel like my BoxyCharm Premium kind of beat my Ipsy Ultimate. None of the other boxes really impressed me that much. I mean, I am glad to have items from every single thing that I got, and there are things that I will keep and I will try. But out of all my boxes, I'm probably most excited for my BoxyCharm Premium because I think I'll use most of the products. So I think that is it. I don't kind of have mixed feelings. Sorry, I'm not more like clear on what I think about these boxes, but I'm also just like my head is in the clouds because we are moving getting our moving truck tomorrow so so much to do so I'm just ready to like pack all this up but thank you guys so so much for watching I know this was all over the place but thank you for bearing with me and I hope you guys enjoyed anyway leave me a big thumbs up and next month I promise everything is going to be back on track so as soon as I get my boxes I'll unbox them for you and hopefully everything will run a bit more smoothly so thank you guys so so much and I will see you really soon in my next video bye guys